So I'm going to ask uh, Fen Zhao to come up now. Fen is our program lead in the Big Data Hub uh, uh, project and initiative across uh, for us and, and for the other hubs as well. She's been really fantastic to work with. She's going to tell you a little bit about what else is going on at the NSF and maybe a little bit about your new role. Uh, she's, she's taken on even more. I've taken on even more. Yeah, so I'm Fen Zhao. I work at the National Science Foundation. I don't know how this works. It is very confusing. Um, and yes, yeah, so I, I lead the Big Data Hubs and Spokes program. I'm also the program coordinator for our secure and trustworthy cyberspace or cybersecurity portfolio, which uh, is a full research portfolio on, on cybersecurity. Um, where are my slides? If you can help me set that up. And I'm here, I, the title of my talk is NSF Opportunities. Um, and what I wanted to focus on instead, uh, NSF is a science funding agency. We fund all aspects of science, all fields of science, except for um, um, medical research, which NIH funds. And um, we have lots and lots of solicitations. Um, one of them recently for the spokes with a spoke solicitation. It would have been great to be able to talk about the next one, but uh, it's not out yet. Uh, and I can't say that it's going to be out, but I will say that it's a continuing program and have confidence in our, our faith in the program. Um, so, my slides, yes. Oh, I, I did email slides to Katie, so, okay. Keep talking. All right. Um, and so, so NSF has a lot of uh, calls and opportunities for funding. I'm not going to talk about the solicitations. The solicitations are the major calls. We have them for our core research programs. We have them for education-related programs. We have them for research coordination programs. Um, so, so what um, those solicitations are often very well organized. They can fund things from the scale of one dollar to ten million dollars. Our, our for for computer science, our frontier class, our largest grants are on the ten million dollar um, order range. You can go and find those on our website, and every solicitation is just like twenty pages of information of how you sub submit your um, proposal, how um, what needs to be in the proposal, what are the requirements, what are the limitations. Instead, I am going to, if they can get my slides up, talk about a. For uh, smaller opportunities that, um, in the form of what we call Dear Colleague Letters. And our Dear Colleague Letters are sl slightly more informal calls for the community to submit sort of more planning, um, planning phase projects, small scale projects um, that are not on the order of a solicitation. Oh, poor Katie. Yeah. Um, but, uh, um, you know, it might be opportunities of interest to um, people here in the room, and especially people here who have spoke. Some of them are opportunities that if you have an NSF grant, you can get a supplement to do additional things from your grant that you don't have originally. Great. So let's, let's there's four of them, uh, and I'll just talk about them now, because the, these DCLs, they're not advertised quite in the same way as our big solicitations are. So I want to make sure everybody knows that. Well, that didn't work. That's okay. All right. All right, the first one is that we have a request for input on federal data sets. Now, a lot of you have talked about the projects that you're doing that involve federal data sets. There's NASA data, NOAA data, people are working with NIH data. Um, we at NSF are seeking inputs on the type of data sets that federal departments, agencies, and offices have are, possess and make openly available for use for data science in all domains. Um, in some, the reason that we're doing this is in the long term, we hope to provide planning grants that can be made available to you to be able to package and make these data sets, pu publish these data sets and make them available for your community. So we're doing a sort of exploratory process to see what's out there that people think are of value and then we could p potentially in the future provide some planning grants for you to actually publish them and make them a little more, more usable for your community. Uh, the due date for um, their Dear Colleague letter um, information is, is uh, March 31st. You can find a, a few more details in the DCL. Usually we just have a page and we say generally give us this bit of information. It's not like writing a proposal. It's just uh, it's submitting a much more informal um, document to NSF. So if you want to participate in this, you know, you, you do your, write up a one pager and submit it to NSF. Um, we also have a, a DCL call out for um, 
what we call public participation in science is another word for this, or one form of public participation is say crowdsourcing, right, or citizen science, right? So, so what we want to see is how can you engage more public participation in STEM research? Um, and you can submit to this call um, proposals in three areas. One is a, a mechanism at NSF called Research Coordination Networks. These are consortia type of activities focused on coordinating activities between multiple organizations and PIs. The RCN program, somewhat like the HUMS, but the HUMS aren't focused on just research, right? They're focused on applications. The research coordination F, uh, networks are focused on scientific research. The other thing is, to this call, you can also make proposals for conferences and workshops in this area. Um, and you can also, if you have an NSF grant and want to do more um, citizen science public participation, you can um, use this mechanism to submit a supplement tag to this. And the due date is in April. You can, um, th this one does have um, you know, a bit more information. What you will have to um, submit, what it calls for, are submissions, RCN type proposal submissions, workshop submissions, and um, supplement submissions that you can go through Fastlane. Talk to the, the contacts and talk to your program officer if you're submitting a supplement. Um, another Dear Colleague letter we have is supposed to enable more collaboration between computer scientists and social scientists. And when we say social scientists, we, me we mean social scientists, behavioral sciences, economic sciences. And so this is uh, encouraging the submission of what we call eager proposals. Eager proposals are, um, and you can find more information on here, are high risk, high reward proposals to NSF. They are not externally reviewed. All right, and because often eager proposals don't do well with a conservative panel review system, what they are is, is that sort of the discretion of program officers um, and internal NSF review to be able to take on these high risk, high reward projects. Um, they are, um, uh, the funding level, the maximum funding level for an eager is $300,000. So it is not a large, huge grant, but it's, it's substantial um, funds for high risk, high reward research. And this one specifically is if you have a collaboration between a computer scientist and a social scientist. That due date is April 1st. We've had, this is the second round already, some of these DCLs, you'll see multiple dates because they're active in multiple years. Finally, um, we have an opportunity for people here who have NSF grants to submit a supplement. This is on improving graduate student preparedness. Really, the essence of this, this uh, DCL opportunity is um, giving graduate students an opportunity to work on things that are in their field, but not necessarily just research, right? So um, the hubs are a great place for this because all the spoke activities, while they're related to lines of uh, research, they are also um, working with industry, they're working with partners, they're atypical. What we want to do is have more graduate students have that experience. And so this will actually fund some, um, the, 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 some of the um, graduate students themselves to be able to engage in this kind of activity. A little bit more detail on this, it actually runs in two sets of, type, uh, of awards. One is you have a grad student affiliated with your project and you would like to just bring that grad student along and pay him to do some ex things that are not just related to research, right? So you want him to go and out and work with industry and have travel funds to do that or you want to do other things, you can have your grad students and they apply with the resume and, and talk about what they want to do. The second is a cohort program kind of proposal where you say, well, you know, I would like to start a program for up to 10 grad students to work on my particular topic. Um, it's not full grad student funding, so we're not talking about their full stipend or their full tuition, but it is for a portion of their year, because they still have to do their research as a grad student or as a PhD student or a master's student. They still have to do their classes. Um, often it's during the summer. Um, and I'm gonna host a program to have them work on some sort of topic in my, in my area of my NSF award. Um, this is actually being offered not just by computer science, but all the directorates, and every single one has different dates. The one for the uh, computer science directorate, specifically for the Hub and Spoke Awards, they have a deadline coming up in April. So if you're interested in this, please, uh, it's a supplement, so it's a supplement to your award. Uh, you can think about submitting that supplement by the April deadline. So on that, I have no more slides. 
Um, if anybody has any questions on these supplements, on these DCLs, on any sort of solicitation or other opportunities that you might be interested in from NSF, please ask any questions. Okay. So if there are none, I just want to make an open call to everybody. I'm always at my desk. You can give me a call on my, my phone number and I will pick up the phone. Like I say to everybody, everybody's really surprised when I pick up the phone. Expect to actually talk to me if you call me. You're not getting my voicemail. Um, NSF, you know, we have these calls, we have these solicitations, but we also have what we call like NSF 17001. Our, this is our open call for everything. At any point, we can accept proposals from people with good ideas. You're not bound to these solicitations. Um, there are a few mechanisms that are for standard workshops, eagers, right? You know, we're not likely to fund like a multi-million dollar proposal that came out of nowhere, right? But if you're interested in proposing something, just give me a call as a program officer and we can see if there are, uh, you know, funding mechanisms or pools of funding that we can um, engage you on with your free project. So it's really an open dialogue. Some people are afraid of calling the foundation. It, it really is a place where if you have a great idea, we will never say no to a great idea if we have funds for it. All right.